So first of all, happy Diwali, everyone. Uh, today is the Festival of Lights. Uh, so yeah, wishing everyone a happy Diwali. Today's demo is on an adaptive card extension, uh, which is called as the Tenant Service Health. A quick introduction about myself. My name is uh, Anup Tati. Uh, I became a MVP just uh, recently, uh, and I'm a developer at uh, Content and Cloud here in UK. Uh, I write blogs on a platform called Medium under the account Anup T. Uh, my Twitter username is Anup Tells, and GitHub username is Anup T. Uh, so you can follow me on those platforms if needed. Right, let's start with the demo first and then uh, look at the code. So uh, if I go to my dev tenant, uh, refresh this page. So over here, uh, we've got an adaptive card extension uh, in the mobile view uh, called as service health. What this does is uh, it shows the issues uh, that are present in our tenant currently. Uh, so um, as you can see, the first thing it shows is there are currently five issues and three services have been affected. And then when I click on view details, uh, it shows me, uh, it shows us um, each of the services that have been affected. And then if you click on one of the services, uh, it shows you what those issues are. Uh, and then when you click on more details, it takes you to the, the service health page and loads the issue itself. So uh, I can take a look uh, as to what the issue is. Um, right, so this one, if I just come out of preview, uh, then yeah, I'm in the edit mode. So the thing is, uh, because audience target is enabled on, on the ACES, uh, we can enable this only for the admins uh, who are interested to know uh, what the issues are. So when they open the dashboard on their uh, Viva Connections mobile app or say uh, on the desktop, uh, then they'll see this card uh, and then they can uh, take a look at uh, what, what the issues are uh, and then you know do something about it. Right, so that's the demo. Now, what we'll do is uh, we'll have a look at the code. Uh, before jumping into the code, I would recommend you all to watch this demo uh, by Patrick uh, in one of the uh, PNP calls. Uh, it's, it gives a nice introduction on uh, how to build ACES uh, using SPFX. Uh, and also, uh, like Vesa uh, mentioned earlier, um, uh, there was a, a session in Ignite on the Viva Connections extensibility by Vesa and Waldeck. Uh, so you can uh, watch that as well or attend the call uh, next Tuesday uh, on the same topic. Uh, so the, uh, with that in mind, uh, let's have a look at the code. So I won't go into a lot of detail of the code uh, because those two videos uh, uh, will provide you a lot of information. However, uh, I, I'll, I'll go through some of the bits uh, that I think are important. So firstly, all this code is uh, shared on GitHub. Uh, under the SPDEV FX ACES uh, repository. Uh, we have one file, the main one, which is called as the adaptive card extension.ts. Uh, so what we do is, uh, uh, the first thing is we need to get all the issues. So we call a method called as get, get health overview, and that is present in a file called as service health.ts. And all we do here is using Microsoft Graph, uh, we hit this endpoint uh, called as service announcement slash issues. Uh, and then uh, we get all those issues where is resolved uh, is false. Uh, so that gives us uh, all the issues. And in order to call Microsoft Graph, uh, we are using uh, uh, one of the files uh, developed by uh, Michael Svensson, uh, which uh, makes calling Graph very easy. I use that in, in almost all the projects. There are other options as well, like PNPJS, uh, but uh, the uh, uh, this file uh, is, is one of the options. Uh, so once uh, we get all the issues, uh, what we have to do is we have to display uh, the issues. So as in, uh, we have to display how many issues uh, are there and how many services have been affected. To do that, uh, uh, we have uh, different kind of views, uh, card views, and all the details of the card views, quick views, et cetera, uh, are explained clearly in the demos by uh, Patrick. Um, Vesa and Waldeck. Um, so uh, in this case, uh, we have a file called as uh, cardview.ts, which is nothing but a, a text card. Uh, so what we do here is, based on the data that we have got from Graph, uh, we uh, we compute uh, the number of uh, issues. So we use uh, a Lodash, uh, one of Lodash's method called as unique by, and then uh, 
get the length of the Unix services affected, uh, which in this case is is two. Uh, and then for the number of uh, issues, um, uh, we again uh, use Microsoft Graphs uh, or data count. So as you can see over here, I've just put the uh, the data that is written from graph. There's an old data count of four. Uh, we just uh, display that over here. All right, um, and then in order to display all the text, uh, we just uh, format the text accordingly to say how many issues and how many services have been affected. Uh, once that is done, uh, we, when we click on view details, uh, we need to show the uh, you know the affected services and the issues. Uh, for that, we've got a card button, uh, and then as you can see, uh, uh, we just uh, open a quick view uh, when that button is clicked. So the, the, the code for that is pretty much simple. It's nothing but uh, an, an action, um, an action of the type quick view, uh, and then we tell it to open a particular quick view that we would have uh, created. Yeah. Right, so we need to format the data slightly. So the, on the left side, you see the data that is returned from graph. It is the list of issues uh, of, and uh, the service to which the issue belongs. Now we need to group the issues by service. So uh, as you can see on the right side over here, we need to group by uh, you know the exchange service and the uh, Microsoft 365 suite service in this case. Uh, so uh, in, in order to do that, uh, we use low dash again. Uh, so uh, there's this method which uh, uh, which groups uh, all our data from graph uh, by service, uh, and then uh, we do some mapping where um, uh, we we map the we, we get the issues, uh, and we also get the number of issues in a uh, in a string format. And finally, uh, we've we've got an icon for each of the service. Uh, this is a custom icon that we have in our code, uh, and there's a method to get an icon for the service based on the name of the service. So using load dash, we formatted the data uh, in such a way that all the data is now grouped by service. Once that is done, uh, you know we need to display this quick view. So uh, we have the data which is grouped by service. Now we need to display that. Uh, in order to do that, we, uh, we have a file called as issueview.ts. It's it's actually service. It should be actually serviceview.ts, but uh, it was my mistake uh, while uh, naming the file. Uh, but anyway, uh, this file uh, needs uh, to display all the services that have been affected. Uh, so all we do is uh, the data that we have formatted uh, will be present in in the state variable. So we we just get that um, uh, when the, when the quick view loads, and then uh, in order to display that data, we make use of adaptive card, uh, and hence uh, this is adaptive card extension. Uh, so adaptive cards uh, come in the form of format of JSON. Uh, so we have this file called as issue view template.json. Uh, the first thing we do here is uh, we've gotten all the services in an array. Uh, that's what we bind uh, this JSON file to. Uh, and then all we have to do is, uh, uh, th the first thing we do is uh, show the image. Uh, for that, uh, we create an item of the type image. Uh, and then the, we set the URL of that to service icon. Now service icon uh, is nothing but the uh, the data that we set earlier uh, in the formatted data. So uh, on the uh, at the bottom over here, I've just uh, taken the uh, the Microsoft 365 suite object from our services, and uh, we've got a service icon property in that, and that's what uh, we show over here. Uh, and similarly, uh, and the next thing we do is uh, we have a text block wherein we have to display the name of the service that is affected. Again, uh, in the services array, uh, we've got the name property for each service. That's what is displayed over here. And then we have to display the number of issues for each service. Uh, so again, we insert a text block and there's a property called as number of issues that we have created. Uh, and we just uh, display that using the number of issues property. And finally, uh, uh, there's a button. Uh, so as we saw in the demo, when we click on that, it shows the issues uh, uh, present in that service. Uh, so that's nothing but uh, an action of the type submit. Uh, so we add an icon um, uh, in the base64 format to that. And then one thing we do here is uh, we, we create a 
custom um, object uh, or a custom property called a service and then set the value of that to the name of the service. Now this custom property name can be anything uh, based on uh, what we think is relevant. In this case, I'm using uh, you know, property name as service and the value of that will be the name of the service itself. The reason why uh, we do that is uh, we'll come to know in a minute. So once that button is clicked, uh, what we do is we show another quick view uh, that's using the quick view navigator dot push. And then uh, the other thing we do is uh, we update the state. Uh, there's a variable called a selected service. Uh, we update that with the with the value of the service that we set earlier in, in the JSON. So uh, in this case, the selected service will be Microsoft 365 suit. Now let's look at how we display uh, other issues, uh, issues themselves. Again, uh, this is a quick view. So uh, we've got a TS file wherein we set the data. Uh, so what we do here is uh, uh, we get the selected service and uh, and all of the services from the state. Uh, and then based on the service that is selected, uh, we need to get the issues of the service. So uh, that's all we do here over here. Uh, in the services, we find uh, that service which has been selected and then we get the issues of that service. So in this case, uh, the service that was selected was Microsoft 365 suit, uh, and then the issues uh, were, uh, you know, uh, the three issues that were present in, uh, or that were associated with that service. Uh, so that's what uh, we need, and we set the issues now. Now all we have to do is display these issues uh, to do that again, uh, we've got an adaptive card. Uh, so what we do is we set the data of that to the issues array that we've got. And then this one's pretty simple. So firstly, in order to show the issue itself, we uh, insert a text block and uh, we display the title of the issue. So as you can see over here uh, in the issues array, we've got a title and that's what uh, is displayed over here. Uh, and then in order to display the, the button itself, um, it's it's nothing but an action uh, in which we need to open a URL. Uh, so when we click on that URL, it takes us to the service health page and opens the issue. Uh, so that's what we do over here. Uh, we simply get the URL property of the issue uh, and then associate that with the uh, with the more details button. All right. So that's the uh, code overview. Now uh, here are some resources that were used uh, in the development uh, of this sample. Uh, everything uh, will be shared in the chat. Uh, and yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you very much. Fantastic demo. Uh, great comments there. Uh, very well received. Uh, really impressive format there and great code. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that.